Okay, we want to welcome you. Uh, welcome everyone to our second episode of Stereotypical Topics, and I'm your host, the Narcoleptic Correspondent. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, yeah, and this is a show where we uh, talk about the A-listed uh, stereotypical topics, uh, the latest, uh, funniest, strangest, or whatever type of topics, uh, even the most boring topics. Thank you. We also present some of the A-listed stereotypical guests. And we have a great lineup for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, well, today we'll be discussing vampires. Are they real? <laughs> okay, today we have a very special guest, Uroy, an art uh, a collector from Europe. That's here. Uh -huh. And we also have STT from the band Jumper Cables. And Hill, a male flight attendant. And last but definitely not least, our nighttime janitor, Kale. Okay, so first up, uh, let's talk about vampires, shall we? Um, now, some say they are real, based on historical uh, real life encounters. <gasps> some people say there are cults that actually drink real blood. <gasps> Not my thing. <clears throat> but others argue that they are myth, uh, created by famous authors to romanticize vampires, to uh, make them lovable characters. And well, we all have our famous favorite uh, authors on that. We, we all know some of the top stories there. Huh? Okay, and um, so let's let you decide. Let's get to it. Let's uh, welcome our first guest, Uroy, the art collector from Europe. Hey, welcome, Uroy. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Nice looking legs. I mean, people. <laughs> yes, thank you. Oh. Uh, welcome, you're right. Yeah, thank, thank you. So you're right, art collecting in Europe must be really interesting. Uh, what are some of the latest pieces you acquired? I tend to favor the collections from the Baroque period. Of course, there is a piece that I know was me. I mean, my grandfather. I mean, my great, great, great grandfather. Mm, but who knows? A lot of good people get the same idea at the same time. And, and uh, it could be. And I agree, sometimes you have, must go for Baroque, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, but Baroque is the best. Right, so how much did your latest painting cost you? 3.5 million US dollars. <gasps> That's a lot of money. That could feed a lot of hungry people. Hunger? Okay. Moving on. Okay, now uh, let's welcome our guest STT from the band Jumper Cables. <laughs> STT. Hey man, why is that dude looking at me so weird? Dude, it's my hair. It's my hair. Gets gets messy real fast. Oh, my neck. Do you have a nice neck that I 
such a thing. Oh, dude. What the doctor says, the, the doc says is, it's because I scream so much. He says someday my neck's going to look like cables. <laughs> <laughs> City, so I hear your band has a new drummer. Uh, what are some of the any other uh, things going on? Any anything else? Uh, that's the latest. Oh yeah, man. We picked up a, a new drummer. Yeah, and he's rocking. When he plays, it sounds sounds like he's got twenty hands. Changes? Well, we are going from this blue tiger, tiger stripes. Is that blue? Black. We're going from this color, kind of blue, to black and white. Because our manager says it'll make us look less weird. Yeah. Check it out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and you know what else my manager says is my manager says he wants me to cut my hair. <gasps> yeah. But I said now what? <laughs> How much shampoo it takes to keep this hair clean. Yeah, and it would totally, totally mess up my accountant. Because, you know, I get a uh, salary. I get a salary and a budget for this. This beautiful hair. Where's the cat? <laughs> <laughs> cat man? I guess it does look a little real. Flight attendant. Hello, Ren What may I do to serve you today? Uh, that's okay. You don't have to. Uh, you don't have to serve anyone here. Oh, sorry. Force of habit. Uh, understandable. So, uh, what's it like being a flight attendant? How do you like it? Strangely enough. It's not as easy as I thought it would. I come in with a smile every day, and with a pillow on the blanket, and moms clutch their children away with a weird look. I don't know. I do my best to be as pleasant as possible. Oh, coffee, tea, or soda, anyone? Cool. Soda for me. Oh no, I'm fine for now. Thank you most graciously. What a nice way of saying that. Uh, Phil, no, no, no need to get up. Uh, we have, uh, we'll have someone bring, bring in drinks later. That's okay, Kido. Thank you. That was very considerate. You're most certainly welcome. And if you need anything, just ring. <laughs> I think I'm going to like this. I think I'm gonna like this dude. Hey man. Uh, hey man. Do you wanna be my roomie? Yes, yes.
is delightful. And last but definitely not least, let's welcome our nighttime studio janitor, Kale. the studio after hours um, so you must see a lot of strange things going on you well in line up with our topic of vampires let's think about uh, let's think about identifying one or, you know so we keep our eyes open for it Hi. Um, first they are described as having black capes having dark rings around their eyes. Pale skin. And fangs. And actually, they are, they are said to be very, very old. They don't generally look at, but <laughs> <laughs> so interesting. Can you elaborate on that a little bit? No. Uh, why not? Good. was cool. Usually when I pass out, it's after the concert, that the after hours. <sighs> oh, you should check on our friend. You're confusing me. Which one? I believe he just answered your question in order. Yes, he's going to wake up soon. And no, you do not need to call 911. What can I get you? Another pillow? Oh, and just to be polite, maybe we should all lay on the floor just so he doesn't feel like he's the only one and he won't be so embarrassed. Hey, good idea, man. <laughs> no. Lord, please, no. I'm, I'm fine, really. It's just what happens. Uh, 
I get too excited and um, any strong feelings and I drop and go around, you know, <laughs> uh, just for a couple minutes. I, I got to get back up and, uh, you know, just give me a minute there. Um, as long as I don't hit my head on anything, I'm fine. Right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you for the point. Yep. Weird, dude. But hey, if you feel great, man, no harm done, right? Well, if you're sure we can't get you anything, just ring. Hmm. This could be interesting. No fight, no mess. Hmm. <gasps> I mean, no mess with the calling 911 and this and the CPR bills and etc. Okay, well, back to the topic. Leroy, uh, do you think vampires are real? Vampires? Not. What silliness the folks' tales have been filled with over the years. Well, some people do believe that behind every myth there is some fact. Often a, a hidden truth somewhere. Bombards. Ridiculous. What about you, STT? Oh, yeah, man. I see that every concert. They're out there. Big black eyes. Long black hair. Not that having long hair is bad. It doesn't make you bad, you know. It's cool. And they got long black fingernails. And big black capes. They're out there. <gasps> You know, when we do the cover charge, we count the rockers coming in, and one night we co counted 600 rockers, and by the end of the night, there were only 550 rockers. <gasps> yeah. Some of them looked asleep. But I know different. <gasps> I know who's different. But then my manager rushes, rushed us all back to the back and I didn't get a chance to call 911. You know. 911. 9 1 1. Once we get back there, well, there's babes and photographers, you know, paparazzi everywhere. And I usually don't remember what happened until the next day. And then sometimes I really do, I don't remember that either. <laughs> seen one on a plane. Of course, I do hear stories that they have flying capabilities. Oh, so to reduce anyone? Kale, mm, you mentioned that you think vampires are real. Why? Because. Kale, you are a man of few words. <laughs> mm, but, because why, though? Because they are. You're afraid. I can understand. Yep. Yeah. 
Well, I, I hear you should keep garlic nearby. I don't know if that's real or... But, you know, it could hurt. I suppose I don't really need to worry about that. One of my favorite nighttime snacks is a piece of raw garlic and a hot dog. <laughs> but some stairs are pretty uh, tasty. Are you hungry and for one? I can get you one right now. I know, but thank you. Thank you. You're so welcome. That's... that's so not on the menu. Not good. Okay, well, that concludes our show, Stereotypical Topics, Episode 2. And we want you to come back again for our next episode. Uh, where we'll discuss the top uh, stereotypical topics, uh, the most interesting, bizarre, or even the most boring. Okay, well, everyone enjoy. Peace and love. We hope you enjoyed your stay. Come back really soon. Get your complimentary bag of peanuts. Yep. Dang thing, after hours. Guess I better go get the mom. Break it up. Break it up, you two. Oh, break it up. Break. Oh man, this is wild. Wow! <laughs>